hello there. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. And we're still clicking away at this jewelry jar. We found some interesting things, some vintage pieces to needing repair, some vintage brooches, uh, lots of single earrings, um, some sort of uh, vacation, you know, handmade pieces that you pick up when you're on vacation. And we're slowly making our way down to the jewelry jar. So I pulled out a bunch of stuff. I'll kind of push it off to the side and we'll uh, get started. I hope you're having a good day so far. Here's one of those pins. And I can never remember what they're called. They have a, like there's a certain, there's a bunch of bears in this style. Here is, um... A poor moose with a Christmas hat. This looks like he's got bandages on his other antler. He's got bandages on his foot. And I guess that's his uh, crutch. And he's got his skis and a ski boot. Looks like he had a skiing accident. Poor guy. I'm not sure who, who would wear that. But hey, I can donate it on to the... Uh, and somebody would probably enjoy it at Christmas time. There's a few other Christmas pieces in here. Here's a bag full of little rhinestone earrings. I'm not gonna, they're, they're all kind of tiny. One, two, three, one, four, five, six, seven. I don't think they're all match, but they're, yeah, this one's bigger than the rest, but I'll see if I can find some more to match to make pairs there. Here's a, again, I would say another travel or souvenir from travels. With There's the seeds, the bits of bamboo. Are those other seeds or what are those with all the speckles on them? There's, that's a seed. Maybe these are seeds that have been painted and the paint is coming off. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. I'm getting good at spotting those things. So there's another travel necklace. What's this yellow thing? This is a bracelet. Oh, cool. Look at that real lemony yellow. Wonder who made this? Is there... There's a nice design on the top of the clasp. Needs a, a little bit of cleaning inside, but I don't see a name anywhere. What about on the other side? Well, that is a really attractive bracelet. Look at how nice that is. That's got to be vintage because they're all prong set. Prong set glass. That's nice. Wow. Oh, rhinestones, rhinestones. I love rhinestones. You know, ooh, I love turtles. This one's got chains stuck in it somehow. Or just a sec no. I'm gonna have to do that. Now there is definitely a chain on there on that one spoke you can see that and the chain goes up to a teeny tiny little safety pin but I'm not sure those belong together because this isn't a vintage riveted rhinestone brooch is there a name right there don't think so it's got all its beautiful rhinestones. This just doesn't seem right. But it's... I can't tell if it, you know, if it's got an opening that it just sort of slid on there by accident. Oh well. There's the opening there. It's the wrong color and everything. 
Who knows? Beautiful. Look at the vintage pieces coming out now. Yay, yay, yay. There's an earring, a big earring. Oh, more. I'm going to pull a bunch of things here that look. There's a. So here's a couple more seed necklaces from somewhere or other. One. Well, they're kind of, I think they're pretty much the same, too. They've got some kind of white, oofy stuff on them. So put those off to the side. Is this another? Oh, it is another um, book clip, a bookmark. This is pretty. That's very sweet. Very nice. An earring. Oh, a little ring watch. Um, steel back. I'm just gonna assume it's quartz. Um, I don't know if we can see much about the face or not. Yeah, it's quartz. Wonder if it was supposed to have rhinestones around it. Kind of looks like they it did, and they're gone. So we'd have to see what kind of a a battery it needed to see if it worked. Cool. Let's uh, not zoom in. Let's, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's zoom back out where, there we go. So a little, little interesting ring watch. Don't think I've ever had one of those before. An earring to go in the earrings. Oh, here's, here's a pair of earrings and they're nicely clipped together. And they say anything? No, they got a nice design on them, on the backs. Nice little wired pearls. Not real pearls, faux pearls, but uh, pretty clean. Nice pair of vintage earrings. So vintage brooch, vintage bracelet, vintage earrings, vintage. There's a, um, a single earring. Another earring. Oh, actually, here's a pair that came out together. So maybe... In this part of the jar, they put in pairs. These are different. A lot of pieces to it. Filigree, rhinestones, plastic roses, metal roses on just on uh, hooks. Uh, very repurposable parts and very wearable pair of earrings. Here's a, a bracelet with some strings stuck on it. I don't know if my scissors are, well, I guess my scissors aren't that close, but let's take a gander here at the clasp. We'll do the, have to cut that off. So I don't see anything identifying it. Here's the other side. There's missing a rhinestone there. These are the little teeny tiny guys. Maybe some plate loss. It's hard to tell. They do have some of these little teeny tiny rhinestones. So if need be. Yeah, some a little bit of color loss. So obviously, you know, loved and worn, which is good. I think jewelry should be worn if it's loved. Nice. Another vintage bracelet. Oh, I like how they they kept me interested by putting the vintage stuff in the middle. Maybe that's not what they did, but that's what I'm saying. Okay, what have we got here? I think... This looks like one end. This looks like the one end of the necklace, because there's a little of that. And these look like they all belong. Oh, they do. Okay. So, this is a one, two, three, 
four strand necklace. These are heavy acrylic beads. They're quite substantial. So a layered look. Um, just needs a good cleaning. It's a little grimy feeling, but it's actually quite nice. I like, I really like these. Maybe that one is ceramic. You know what? I think I misspoke. I think that one's ceramic. Oh yeah, this one's obviously ceramic because there's a chip out of it. So they weren't plastic. That one's ceramic as well. That's ceramic and that's ceramic. Hmm. Um, I always am tempted to, to take these things apart and save the beautiful beads. So... I don't know. Let's put it off to the be considered pile. That's it. We should all have one of those. Now this is. This looks like it's missing lots of things. Like it was supposed to hang with something and have something in there. So there's a, an earring. What have we got here? Here is a three-strand bracelet, two chains, and um, pearls. Give it a wash and it can be passed on. Adjustable in size. Here's, well, I always like these kind of necklaces. If I can just find. Does this go in here? Guess not. So I just pulled this coin out and uh, thought maybe it went in there but it doesn't but this is a zodiac coin for Virgo August 24th to September 23rd if you know any Virgos who need a, a zodiac coin there's one then there was this necklace that I was uh, I sorted out this is a necklace without a clasp which was quite surprising uh, very long lightweight with uh, these frosted um, plastic or acrylic beads and these lo uh, lovely faceted cubes and then the, the rings um, so very wearable nice length I don't know what I but probably 36 inches um, if it had a clasp, you might be able to, to double it up. Like, and I was almost surprised that it wasn't like a two-strand necklace. But, no, I think it's much nicer as a single. So that's a nice necklace. Um, then there was this red barrel clasp. Molded in, oh, not molded in place. Bead, it's plastic beads and they're strung so a vintage necklace I don't uh, sometimes there's writing on these barrel clasps and I never think to to check them anything I don't see anything okay so another nice vintage piece um, uh, an interesting pair or a lovely pair of vintage or clip-on earrings. Um, all the rhinestones are there. Very nice. I have a huge pile of earrings to sort through at this point still, but I have uh, found some more pairs, so I'll just give you a quick look. This pair was in a bag, so they look like uh, glass beads. There was a, a well-worn pair of uh, these, uh, pe you know, post earrings. There, not worth too much. And then this is a pair of, uh, they're quite lovely, these little heart rhinestones in, in the little case. And they're the long uh, kidney wires. They dangle quite nicely from the from your ears, so those are very pretty. So those are well worthwhile. There's quite a bit to, to go. I'm going to uh, 
show you that I finally detangled this necklace properly. So it's uh, four strand, four, three, no, 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 that's not right. It's four strands. Two of them are just straight chain, and that's probably the pro uh, that was the problem. The, ch the plain chain was tangled up, um, so it comes down. It's got the the rings and the faceted cubes on the sides, and then there's it ends up with the uh, chains in the center. So, um, again, another modern, very wearable, and I just broke it apart. Anyway, I have to fix that. <laughs> and one more thing to fix. I usually don't break things. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to leave that. There's lots of interesting pieces. And let's take a look at some of these earrings. Um... You might remember this necklace that, uh, from the first video, perhaps. Well, I found a pa the pair of earrings that match with it. So that's uh, a little cute set that uh, I'm sure somebody will enjoy. I'll put them together so that I don't misplace them. Pairs showed up, so these are nice um, in the Indian... A waterfall design or not sure what else you would call that sure our earrings or they could be you know those wine glass charms but they're identical and wine glass charms are usually different and they're they're quite nice I like the gold tone beads let's just pair of those these are acrylic and they're managed to be I think this one's oh no there's the other wire so just uh, hooks lovely blue um blues and clears and uh sort of translucent beads these are huge these are post earrings they're lightweight but they're huge i mean they're as long as my thumb i mean i have short thumbs but still it's a pretty enamel design in the center Here's a pair of pink clip-ons. Uh, clip I won't try to take those apart now that I managed to get them together. Here's another pair of clip-ons. Um, lightweight plastic with the, uh, the brown with the gold. There's another pair of very lightweight plastic earrings. I love the centers of these. They're so unusual and again clip-ons there's a pair of hooks for pierced ears and they're lovely bright if i'm gonna move apart lovely yellow flowers those are very pretty here's another set of post earrings and uh, this nice navy and uh, Design. Let's see. I guess the post is there, so they go like that, like, like that. So they're not mirror images. It would be nice if they could have done it so that one went like that and one went like that, but they didn't. Here's some vintage rhinestones, screwbacks. Beautiful. All the rhinestones are there, and they're not, uh, some of them are a little gray, but they're not bad at all. Put those with my vintage pieces. Here's another pair of hook earrings, just lightweight plastic. Here's um, another pair. These are, again, pla uh, no, these are metal. But they have a nice coating on the top, on the front, so they're not all scratched. But the back is a little. And then there's these big ones. These are actually lighter than you would think. Because they, they are metal. But this big pearl, it does, it just, it's quite open. It's open there in the back, so it's much lighter than you would think to wear. 
pairs are quite attractive. Yeah. Here's um, another pair. These are, again, pla uh, no, these are metal. But they have a nice coating on the top, on the front, so they're not all scratched. But the back is a little. And then there's these big ones. These are actually lighter than you would think. Because okay, but they are metal. But this big pearl, it does, it just, it's quite open. It's open there in the back, so it's much lighter than you would think to wear. Pairs are quite attractive. Here's a pair of swirl earrings, posts again. Um, so here's a pair. I was really happy to see these because these are snowflakes and they got rhinestones in them. So I'm very happy. And they are, even though they're, they're clip on, they got the little pads, but there's no maker's name. But uh, snowflake stuff um, I like, I will wear in the season. Um, okay. Oh, there's that. And that matches this earring, this necklace that we found earlier, but it doesn't have... It just got a loop, so I guess this hook has disappeared. Let's see if I can find its match. Oh, there's that. Oh, maybe that's not a, a lost earring. And there's that. Oh, okay, so this. Oh, I see. Look. This. If I put my hand behind it, I guess you can see there's a loop there and there's a loop there. So these two should have been hooped together or had a ring that joined them. And then there's a matching pair of earrings. So that's a nice find. I love, I liked this necklace when I, when I, as soon as I found it. So that'll be nice to put together. Um... Here's another big pair of clip earrings. Just your traditional or tip classic, I guess, pearl design. And again, the open center, so they're not too heavy. Here's another pearl, set of pearl clip-ons with the little rhinestones. Here's these. Uh, Clip-ons, and they're like a beaten or hammered metal design in good shape. These are heavy. These are pierced earrings. The sort of basket work design is a little, I don't know if that's dirt or missing. Let me see. That's missing enamel there, so I'm not sure if that can be repaired. Here's some more uh, clip-on earrings, no name, but well-made. And again, beautiful rhinestones, nice design. I really like those. Are these the ma Okay, these match. These are uh, some half hoops with a nice enameling in the yellow. Very pretty. Here's some pierced uh, earrings. Whoops. Really nice dangles. Again, I like that design as well. These might be 1928. That They've got the characteristic uh, embellishment on the back. And they have sort of that 1928 look. Here's a pair of Beat up pearls in a silver tone setting, pierced earrings. Here's another pair. Love these, just plastic beads, so nice and lightweight. Here's a pair of cufflinks, really nice cufflinks. Lightweight, but the nice uh, design in the on the frosted gold side. And they're not marked with any on the back at all. 
I looked closely, so no markings. So one pair of cufflinks. There's another pair of cufflinks that are gorgeous. Look at these. Look at these beautiful blue stones. I don't know what this is on the bottom, if it's a crack. Oh, it's hard to tell here. If it's just a, a reflection. But uh, I'll investigate that one a little more closely. It looks like maybe a flaw in the stone. But I think when you were wearing them, you probably wouldn't even notice. So that's two pairs of cufflinks. Sorry, I keep hanging the camera. Um, and then there's um, one, two, three, four tuxedo pins. And do I have the matching cufflinks? Yes, I do. So here's the cufflinks. And there's the, tif the studs for the buttonholes. There's only four. I'm not sure how many you're supposed to have. Somehow I think you're supposed to have more. Okay, so these are uh, lever back with enameling. Very modern. And some rhinestones even. Oh, very modern looking. Nice, though. Okay, so there's the match for the gold. There's this pair. With the cage. I'll have to inspect these a little better. Those I love the shine of these. Um... pair of these metal pair of steer rings okay these are interesting it's a rhinestone in a with uh, two rings so gold and then black ring whoops I guess it goes this way and then the rhinestone hanging in there so nice lightweight and then there's a pair There are these little flowers with the pearls in them. Again, lever black, lever back earrings. Um, oh yes, and then we do have a pair of these, some vintage-looking clip-ons. Might be as far as we get. Oh no, here's another pair. These are. Just simple little shapes on kidney wires. Whoops. Oh, there is another pair of, uh, of cuff studs or whatever, or buttons for tuxedo. I love these designs, very industrial. There's only two of them. So maybe you could put them on a collar or something. And, uh, oh, there's some, I'm not sure if these are pearls or the same, if there's enough to make pairs of the same color or not. Let's see. Oh, that, those two might go together. That's slightly different color. And there's these little, what color are they? Gold on the back. Kind of look silvery on the front, so maybe the gold's just worn off. There's a pair of those pierced earrings. A pair of these. Little flowers, and I wonder if those, oh no, they don't match. There was another pair of earrings with flowers on them that I thought they might match. And I guess that's about it for pairs. I had high hopes for some of them, but they just, the matches just didn't show up. There's one Christine, Christian Dior earring. And uh, a bunch of other singles, which I'll wait for the next part to show you at the, uh, 
very end because who knows uh, something might show up that I I missed somehow in terms of um, the matching so thanks for watching all this pairing up and there's still a little bit of the jewelry jar left to go thanks very much Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes have a great rest of the day